There's a little girl tonight battling leukemia, and I'd like you to meet her. Her story isn't different, but her path to a cure is. Katie is just 13 years old, but she is now leading a new charge against her acute lymphoblastic leukemia. She happens to be among the very first in this country to receive a brand new FDA-approved therapy using her own body to fight the monster that is trying to take it. It's all new at 10 o'clock. I was taking a bath and I had a big bruise, and so my mom took me to the ER. It was January 24th, 2015, just a week, in fact, after Katie won her school spelling bee. It would be just a quick visit to the ER. We didn't go back home for um, 96 days. What were those first few weeks like for you? Um, mainly I was just confused and like, because I didn't know what leukemia was. Katie began aggressive chemo immediately. A few weeks later came the news. It wasn't working. We were told our best shot for um, a cure for her would be to move directly into bone marrow transplant. Transplant day, April 22, 2015. Katie did great, got back to her life. Her school, her friends, her brother, her hair for two years. And then came October 25th, last year. What did you feel when you sat in the office yet again and you were told that we got a relapse? Um, I was mostly just mad because I was starting to do really good. And it just, I had to start all over. All you can think of is just not fair for your baby to have to do this all over again. And you just, your heart just breaks because you can't fix it. You can't make it go away. So how often have you roamed these hallways? The hope now is that this man can make it go away. Dr. Ted Leach is Katie's pediatric oncologist at UT Southwestern and Children's Health and just happens to be part of the research team that made history developing the recently FDA approved therapy called CAR-T. We're teaching your immune system to fight your cancer. The way we do that is we take out a specific part of your immune system called your T cells. We then engineer those in a lab or change them in a lab so that they can attack your leukemia. And we give them back to you where they're alive and they grow and they multiply in your body. And then they're attacking and killing those leukemia cells. Katie received her newly engineered T cells on the 6th of January and dared to dream of simple joys. I'm just feeling normal and getting, like, getting up every day and having something to do and somewhere to go. Four weeks later, she heard the word remission. Katie's body is cancer-free, and it's also filled with faith. I notice the more that I trust God and just keep having faith, the better things start to get. Mm -hmm. Well, that's saying a lot, right? She makes me proud. Makes a lot of people proud. So this CAR-T therapy that Katie received is available right now all around the country. It's for ALL patients who are under the age of 25 and they've relapsed twice, like Katie. She happens to be one of the many reasons that I have continued my mission personally for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. 27 days from today, I'll be back in Hawaii taking on the Lava Man Triathlon, another tough race, but every single step raising money for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Right now, just so you know, every single dollar donated to my campaign for the next few thousand will go directly to LLS and they will be matched. If you give 50, it'll become 100, just like that, from a wonderful donor. We're gonna post Katie's story on our website. I will have a link to my fundraising page there, selfishly. I'd be honored to have your support in our fight against blood cancers. And let me tell you the connection that blows me away, guys. 2016, I did the Ironman uh, Kona World Championship. Right. We raised nearly 160 grand that year. That therapy was a dream that year. Some of that money that we raised helped fund the research of what? CAR T that is now FDA approved and in Katie's body tonight. And we know this is a cause near and dear to your heart. So thank you for what yeah. you do and thank you for sharing Katie's story. Because Katie is beautiful and you've got this, and we're grateful that you're able to share this. Cancer sucks and we gotta do something yeah, about it. So absolutely. Do what little I can. Doug, we, and we appreciate it. And oh, we know that you, you take every single <laughs> yeah, every single one of them with you as you're running, as you're biking, as you're swimming. Their faces are right there in your memory as you're going. So we appreciate it. Thank you so much, Doug.